What's up guys, Grim here. Are you guys playing Pokemon Go? If you're not, then you are in the minority it seems. It's at the top of the Google charts and it's one of the biggest thing on all of social media trending. If you don't know what Pokemon Go is, it is basically a new game that has come out with the Pokemon franchise but it makes it to where it actually uses your GPS to navigate you around to find Pokemon in the real world. So no longer are you sitting behind a TV or a computer screen playing your games, you're actually out in the real world looking for Pokemon in the bushes, in the restaurants, everywhere you go there may be a Pokemon hiding. And it's actually captivating some of the biggest gamers. Here we see Nick Polum at a waterfall in the woods looking for a Pokemon. And here we see Boogie2988 talking about driving around with his wife trying to find Pokemon throughout town. I'm included in this craze as well. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm basically walking around trying to find Pokemon right now, right in the middle of town. I'm, I'm like walking by the McDonald's and like all around the area. <laughs> And it's showing Pokemon are in the area, so I'm trying to find them. All over Twitter, on my Facebook, everywhere that I look, people are talking about how random people are just walking up into businesses, in parking lots, looking for Pokemon, or else trying to tag a Pokestop, or else even battling in a gym. Here we see a post from a police station saying to not come into the police station. You can get your Pokemon items outside, and to please not look down at your phone and cross the street, as that is very, very dangerous. This game has people leaving their houses and going to areas that they normally wouldn't go to or even have never been to before in order to find Pokemon. And it all takes an interesting turn whenever somebody goes out and looks for a Pokemon and happens to find a dead body. And people are taking the opportunity to take very funny screenshots of Pokemon in interesting places such as this guy finding one while his wife is giving birth to their baby. Or when I find a Pokemon sitting on my son's nose as I'm taking him out of the car. There are so so many Pokemon, Pokestops, and gyms to do battle at in large cities or else well populated areas, but if you're somebody like me that lives out in the country, there is nothing around as you can see on my game screen right now. There is absolutely nothing to see and no Pokemon to be had. What ends up happening is we go traveling, we go driving around town, and the place that has the most Pokemon is the McDonald's. So a game that promotes you to go out and explore the world, get exercise and all that good stuff all the Pokemon are sitting at the McDonald's so that's where I'm spending most of my time whenever I go out looking for these and trust me I'm somebody that doesn't need more McDonald's in my life the reason why this game is so fun is not because of the gameplay or graphics or anything else that you would normally think about in a game. It's that it's a new concept that nobody is used to. This is actually taking a video game and going out into the real world and executing it in a very fun fashion. Operating off your phone's GPS allows you to know the roads that you're going to be going down in order to find the items or Pokemon that you're looking for and also to find hot spots that you can keep going back to and capture a lot of Pokemon. Pokemon every time you visit. The makers of this game are experiencing a huge runaway success and I couldn't be happier about it. In a time that a game's success is judged on how good the graphics are or can it be live streamed on Twitch, this takes it in a completely different direction and really shakes up the gaming market. Download Pokemon Go on your phones, go out and have a good time, take some funny screenshots of you collecting Pokemon in interesting places, but please be safe, do not try to catch things while you're driving your car. That is what I've already seen people doing and it's very dangerous. Please don't do that, please stay safe people. As usual, my name is Grim, and I'll see you next time.